we're talking about a matter of minutes. There's a domestic violence run, and they're sworn to, to protect, and they're sworn to get there as quickly as they can. Uh, they're acting on the information that they have available at that time. It was a little after 1.30 in the morning on August 8th of last year when Danita Jones called 911. 911, operator mask, where is your emergency? She told the operator Darnell Wicker, her mom's boyfriend, had kicked in the door to her mother's apartment. She said he had a knife and wouldn't leave. They know from the call that we have a domestic violence, that we have a knife involved. Three officers responded to the apartment off Cane Run Road. The first officer on the scene was talking with the two women when the other officers, Taylor Banks and Bo Gadigard, arrived. Now they see Mr. Wicker come out with a weapon. They're putting two and two together and their evaluation was that he's not responding to the Police say Darnell Wicker was holding this saw and raised it above his head, even as officers told him to drop it. They got somebody with a weapon raised above his head coming toward them. And they're trained to shoot until the force moving toward them stops. Police say Banks and Gadigard fired 13 shots, killing Wicker. He was told multiple times, at least three, as many as five, they're shouting over top of each other, drop it, drop it, drop it. Uh, they weren't whispering. They didn't look for trouble. They were called because of a domestic violence. They were called to protect Danita Jones and Anita Jones. The Commonwealth's attorney says the shooting is justified. The two officers followed police policy and the law by protecting themselves and the two women. I was in fear for my life and uh, the lives of the other two officers, so I fired my weapon. He looks me in the eyes, like dead in my eyes, and I see pure evil. Like it looks like he is, he wants to kill me. Now, LMPD Chief Steve Conrad says both officers have returned to their regular policing duties while the department conducts a professional standards investigation. That investigation will look at whether the officers followed LMPD policy the day of the shooting. Reporting live downtown, Emily Maha, WLKY News. Thanks, Emily. The attorney representing Darnell Wicker's family says they are devastated by the prosecutor's decision not to seek charges against the officers. Members of Louisville standing up for racial justice say the police department needs to be held accountable because you know the bottom line is the police can't police themselves and it does not build trust in the in the communities that they're policing when time and again no matter what the circumstances the police are not indicted they're not convicted of killing mostly people of color the group also says that these types of investigations should be handed by handled by an independent office. Mayor Greg Fisher says the police department will be transparent as they evaluate how the officers handled the shooting of Darnell Wicker. In a statement that reads in part, Fisher says the police department understands that transparency, honesty, and accountability are essential to maintaining the public's trust.